Hello guys, this is Anish Vijay with another tutorial and this is a pretty um, good tutorial for you guys. It shows you how to make ex uh, just a 2D vector field with all these expressions for the face. You can use it in any other way except for this. Any, any way actually. Eyebrows and anything. So I'm going to work on a rig for you guys. You can close the mouth, you can do something like this. Don't worry about the texture, it's okay. But you can adjust the texture so that it doesn't yeah, do that. You can open the teeth and yeah, so uh, let's get to the tutorial. This took a very long time to make, so please comment, uh, rate, subscribe because I'm the only one who's gonna make this tutorial. I looked everywhere, there's no tutorial on this sort of thing. And no one's giving their rigs for free, which is very stupid. Uh, so now we need to down, you need to download my folder, LIB folder. I have a tutorial on that and get Steve rigged so it has the rig already um, and now let's select the first uh, the four mouth pieces there delete that um, go to share select and do that uh, now let's select all the faces around the mouth around the mouth delete no oh, no disconnect right click and disconnect over here Press OK and make sure you have everything on. Yeah. Uh, now let's add the pose morph. So character point add point morph on the head. And now we should have this thing here selected and select your edges and move them to a position. So this is the first position. Name this um, up right because. Don't name it up left or you can get confused because upright is what in our view. So add another pose, make sure you have it selected and then do your next pose. So up left, this one's up left. I'm just going to do it fast because we don't have much time. Add another one, down left. Uh, move this a bit here. Add another one. This is done by trial and error. I just found out about this thing called a drive drive tag, which is the thing that I'm going to show you in a bit. I've learned about it on the internet, so uh, okay. So then we have that done. Now we need to add three more, uh, four more. So this is basically f the full smile. And we want to name this one just up. We are now there's a reason for me naming them like this because then it'll be a whole lot easier to work with the drive thing, drive tag, drivers tag or something. Um, yeah, I will put the download for the finished rig. Uh, once I finish it, I, I'm gonna work on it. A lot because just name that down and now we need two more so select that name this one close one and let's make this one oh uh, this is a bit weird I know but uh, you need to select the edges here and just move them down on the y-axis uh, you, do, you do half a pixel, move it down half a pixel, so that's 3.125, so that's, you add it, so, um, subtract it, negative 15.625, I hope, and, oops, yeah, I think that's right, okay, that's right, now do the same here, this is the closing of the mouth, negative 15.625, we want it the same position, and this is now close number two. And this is this is how everyone now animates their characters for some reason. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna work. I think. Let's try and render it and see. Uh, if you want, you can do it like that. But I prefer doing it like this. You delete the, you disconnect the face here and. Oops, here, and disconnect them, right click, disconnect, okay, and select the two edges, and just drag them out. 
If that happens, you're selecting the wrong edge. When you disconnect it, it adds two more edges. Okay, we had to select the correct ones. Then we put the X to zero, and then it should close like that. So we don't mess up the 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 the, the, the texture of that much. This to zero. Oops. And if if you don't select the right one, try moving to the back of the head like this, and select the edges from there. Uh, or you could just move the uh, wrong edges aside and then you do it. So now we have everything animated. So click on animate and you should have all of these things. And his face should be a de bit deformed looking. Uh, now let's add the user data. So click on Steve Rig. We're going to add three datas. So click, uh, actually let's make a new null because I don't want to be just make a new null. Uh, and we'll add the user data on this one. Because then, yeah, whatever. You can name it uh, whatever you like. Let's name this one face or something. Uh, name And this is the vector, so click on vector. And 2D vector field, negative 1. Put this to negative 1 and this to 1. Press enter. And as you can see, this null now has uh, user data. Let's name it control. Uh, okay, so now let's add another one. Name this one mouth. Uh, no, 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 wait, what am I doing? Close, close one. Actually, we're gonna make the teeth also because that's a very important part of, of, of this. So name this close one, float slider, enter. Now named this one close to float slider enter and the teeth. So add user data. This is how I do it. So name this one teeth and float slider enter. Um, now let's add expresso onto the controller. Right click on it. Cinema 4D tags. Expresso over here and right click on it again. Go to character tags and driver. This is the cool thing, driver. So now let's add the, p click on your driver, drag your pose morph into your driven object thing, which is here. And then you want to put this board to three and put this to whatever you named your, f your thing. So I'm, I named it face. This is the, the, the face is the vector we put it on. So see, when we click on our control, this is the face, which is our vector. So when you we want to put it here, for face. Can't make it clear. So uh, now we have the parameter, 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 <laughs> and we want we name them the correct ones. I hope you name them. So up left to the up left one, up right to the up right, and this is all the pose morph things we we made. So you want to click on the place you want. See when when we move our point to this area on the of the vector, it will make this morph. So that's what we're telling it to do. So yeah, we did that. Now we go down. We add the down, and we click here and add the up. And we want two separate ones for the uh, up closing thing. Uh, whatever. Go to control, and we should have it. <laughs> okay, we need to um, also do the. Thing. Well, let me just show you. So if we just do this and click on the control, and yeah. So when you move it here, move it here, you can. Yeah, uh, so it's working. If you put these two at zero, it should go back to normal. And now let's add the the, 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 the close and open. So go uh, double click on your espresso, drag your pose morph inside, and drag your Steve rigged in. Ah, sorry, your control inside. The one that we put the user data on. I hope you're not confu getting confused because if you're getting confused you should go look at my other tutorials before this one. So now get your close one and close two strengths and get both of them. Use the data close one, use the data close two. If you're getting confused just watch my previous tutorial on face rigs. So drag them both here. Um, what are we missing? The teeth. Teeth. Um, 
click on your control and we should have them working now if it's not working you have to click animate on you pull them off so okay now let's get the teeth um, I'm gonna have to do this real fast make this about 12 point no 50 or oh, 49 uh, 49 because otherwise in the render you can see the teeth height to 12.5 which is 2 pixels with segments to 1 and height segments to 2 and rotate it 90 degrees on the p-axis so type 90 there and okay we have our teeth for now let's just edit it a bit uh, now we select the faces oh edit it click on that uh, click on this one right click right click right click and extrude uh, get your extrude click on the face then click type in one here and then click on the other face type one in again and you should have this now let's select the faces of all of the bot oh forgot to add the pose morph po uh, add point morph and select this name this one teeth and it's important to name them otherwise you can get confused and let's now oops ignore what I'm doing here I'm just gonna select this select all of the, 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 the things faces including this one on the top here oh, this is just basically one jaw or whatever click on your pose morph oh what no see so you have your your thing here now your position of your faces you want to put this at the 6.25 negative 6.25 and put this at 0 forgot to disconnect it right click and disconnect it and then do this negative 6.25 and put this at 0 do the same here and click on all the sides don't have to disconnect this one okay uh, now put this one at 6.25 because you want to move it up and put this at 0 uh, I can't make it more clear. It's just a pixel up and everything. Yeah. So click on animate, and now we should have this. Oh, let's go back to. Let's just drag in a material for this a white material. Drag it in. Okay, that's the material now. Move it into position. And right about there is okay. And go into your. Expresso, drag your pose morph, properties, tag properties, teeth strength, drag, uh, get your user data, we name them already, and teeth in here, and we're done. Okay, finally, with a good mouth rig, uh, so select your control, and yeah, so we have everything working, and teeth are working, so render, everything looks good. Um, to connect it, okay, let's just move them. Move your plane into here, into your body, and go to your control and find the head joint, which is this one, and click on your plane and click character commands bind. And now, when you rotate the the the, the joint, it should be attached. Well, what is that? Oh, we need to click on the head. Delete that and delete the I delete the bind of it. Character commands bind again and rotate it again and yeah okay. So we have that. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. This took a very long time. So downloads in the description. Um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Bye.